let's see. It says going live. <laughs> going, are we live? Watch live. Let's see. I think we're live. Okay. Oh, somebody's watching. All right. So, hi, Todd. How are you? Um, let's see. So, today is about my $1 billion asset. No, no. Just, uh, my, my asset in my client business that has made me, I can tie pretty much exactly um, a, a $1.3 million and change uh, dollars uh, uh, with it. How's it going, Todd? Um, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, this is something I want to point out. This is something that I, I don't spend a lot of time and energy working on right now. And it continues to bring hundreds of thousands of dollars of, 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 of um, puts hundreds of thousands of dollars of money uh, in my pocket um, every year. Um, and then also, I, I think it's like one of the, I think it's the most efficient, um, at least that I have found, a kind of high value SEO client attraction path. There's a lot of different ways to go about getting high end clients, and a, most of the ones that I see that um, that, that, that legitimately work uh, turn would would have turned me in, into more of a salesperson or more of somebody who hires someone um, who who hires people and, and grows sort of like a big agency with a lot of people. And either one of those is kind of a fit for who I wanted to be. I, I think maybe the latter would be a little bit better. Maybe building a business is something I'd be interested in, but. Um, at the same time, the way I have this set up, it, it's more of like a lifestyle business that I have uh, that's very streamlined, um, which means that I get to kind of pick and choose how my life works, and I don't work with nearly as many clients. So uh, if you're here and you, you haven't grabbed it yet, um, I have a new nice little short link that I've created. I bought the domain DDD for Digital Domination Dojo dot link and slash SCA for SEO Client Attraction. And go there, grab the cheat sheet, um, and that'd be great. So um, let's actually start. Uh, let's actually go to the next one. Let's see. Oh, wait, I think. Let's see. I want to show this. Uh, okay, um, he, here's sort of like an idea for um, a, a plan um, for a business plan that some people uh, might think about. <laughs> like, great plan. Uh, could we get some more details? So you might be thinking this right now. Um, a lot of people, that I think that their kind of business plans are sort of like, okay, yeah, that's the easy part. Um, the hard part is actually in the doing, um, but and also doing it correctly. Oh, whoop, yep, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's see here. An automatic the place. Okay, so um, let me move my overlay real quick. It, you know, some of you may have already been able to guess the asset is my Dallas SEO Geek, and not so much just the website as it is sort of the overall brand because it's not just the website that that makes me um, that makes me money. I'm I'm teleporting in case you can't tell. Um, it, it, the website is kind of the central piece, <clears throat> and it's what enables everything. Without it, I wouldn't be able to do anything. But um, it, it's sort of the brand and the idea behind it, and, and all the different pieces that work into it. It, it. It's and it's more than what people think. Okay, I want to I want to point that out that the the uh, the the I, the idea behind it, um, th there's more to it than just, oh, rank a website for Dallas SEO and then you make a million dollars. No, um, I have, and I'm going to talk about, uh, in a minute, I'm going to talk about some other people. Um, hi, Brian. Um, I'm going to talk about some other people who, uh, who uh, I've had a lot of people tell me that they've actually ranked and that they didn't make money. And I've had a lot of people who have ranked and did make money. Actually, um, I'm going to put on, I've been told that. Uh, I'm going to go Robin Hood mode. So hopefully um, you guys enjoy my Robin Hood hat that just came in the mail today. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wear it because why not? Let's have let's have some fun. I'm going to try to have some fun in this as well. Uh, so quick kind of history. Um, I, I purchased the domain in July of 2011. Um, just kind of I was still working a full-time job. And I saw other people ranking and I thought they make – and I saw there was a lot of searches. And so I thought, well, why not? Um, but I didn't really actually start the site until December of 2012 when I upgraded my SEO mentorship. I found a much better SEO mentor. Um, and then uh, shortly after, um, in I think it was January of 2013, 
I was out of cat. I had to quit my job earlier in 2012. I was out of cash and I actually had to become a part-time daddy nanny. We fired our nanny. Um, and you know, I, I, I've, I've talked about that a, a lot in the past, so I won't go too much detail in there. And then about, about April, I think it was I'm almost positive it was April, mid to late April, 2013. I got my first, like some, the first person who found me ranking and then called me up. I can't remember whether they called me or emailed me. And then I actually ended up closing the deal. That was a huge moment. Um, and I'll never forget Al. Um, I even remember his last name. Uh, because he was the fir- not the first client I ever had, but the first client that found me while searching. And I recognized pretty quickly that it just kind of changed the whole dynamic of the sales because I had been trying to do a lot of like outbound sales. And I wasn't a salesperson by nature. Uh, and by trying to do like a whole lot of outbound sales, um, you know, I grew it grew my sales skills. And it's something that I feel like if I had to do, I could totally do. I could totally, if I had a bookie saying, you know, pay me fifty thousand dollars, or I'm going to kill your family. Some, you know, to, to keep like an extreme, I, I would pick up the phone and I would call if I had to, right? Um, I, you know, I wouldn't be afraid to do that, but I would prefer not to. Um, and it just the whole sales process is completely different, as opposed to if they if they uh, find you. It's basically like getting a referral, and in a lot of ways, it's even better. Um, so I do at a high level, I want to talk about all business. All businesses are can are, can be broken down into really three parts, and you need all three. Uh, pretty much, there's probably like a very small percentage of businesses that don't fit into this, but let's just go with it: traffic, conversion, and product or service. Which really, service is kind of a product in a way, um, and a product is kind of a service, so they're kind of the same thing. And the client business, uh, uh, SEO business, is traffic, conversion, and service. So if you can get all three of these down, then you have a functioning business, right? So some people would get just the tra- the traffic, but they didn't have any conversion, or some people might even have really poor service. Um, and, but you need at least to be decent at all of these, and ideally really good at at least one or two of them. Um, and what's beautiful about this asset right here, the Dallas is your week brand, is that it works on all three right now. It works on all three parts of your business at the same time. Hi Nick, thanks for joining us. Um, and so that is uh, one of the beautiful parts of it. This is what makes this so efficient is that all three, uh, by, by trying to rank Dallas SEO Geek, I was working on all three parts of my business. I'm going to go into more detail about this in, in, in a, as we get through uh, this Facebook Live. I've got a few more things planned out. Um, and I guess I mentioned talk about all three. I don't know why I put that there. Uh, but this is like my total direct earnings related to this asset. Like I can tie it, this cash back directly back to Dallas SEO Geek. Yeah, long time no see, Nick. Um, I was just on another webinar with him. Um, and uh, you can, um, and it's grown over time, but just in the last three years, um, it's produced me $300,000 per year. And this is, this is not the same three hundred thousand that like with a big agency. I've actually talked to big agencies. Their profit, like their their profit, is very low per customer. It's maybe like fifteen percent. Um, this is highly profitable cash because it's very streamlined, um, which is why I'm a big fan of it, right? On because it's it's been like the majority. I'd say this is. I think I, think I did the math. Something like seventy five, eighty percent of my all of my income over the last since I quit my day job has come as a result of Dallas Two Week, and some of it is 100% some of it is because of it. And some of it, like other people that have come to me from various sources, have um, it, it's made the, the conversion process easier. Um, and so let me go ahead and go to the next one. Okay, uh, let me move this around. And I hope there's uh, not many, uh, not any like super snowflakes on here because there are, are going to be a few adult words. Um, as you can see here, um, I think this is hilarious. <laughs> okay. So we talked about three parts of business. Um, actually let me, before I get into that, actually I want to, I want to pull this up. Let me move this around again. All right. So there's really one thing that I, I, after I started to get this work, I identified, um, the, I identified first of all that this was working on all parts of my business, which it was super synergistic in every single way. It was so great. Uh, but if I were to kind of put like the client SEO business into like like what are the different parts of it? It's there's four parts to it. You got SEO skill development, 
and you can insert any like if you're doing facebook ads for business this is basically exactly the same um you need you need to build your facebook ad skills or whatever and then you need sort of like a a branding unit to, to kind of connect all the pieces. So SEO skill development, Dallas SEO geek, I call it theta sometimes just so I can write it when I'm in my notes, I can write it nice and quick that the character theta, it's real quick and easy. And it's very meaningful to me. Sales skill development and service development. Okay. I wanted to mention that real quick before I got into it. Let's see here. Okay. Let me move myself um, around. Okay. Uh, so what, wh so this is one of the, best types of traffic that you can get because it helps it does help with conversion but it does directly give me traffic and it, you don't need a lot of traffic if you think about um how many businesses that out there are looking for help marketing their business on a regular basis um then uh then you, you can imagine that uh you can get a you don't need a lot of traffic if there are real people who are really looking who could turn into a like a customer that ends up paying you like forty or fifty thousand dollars a year, how many of those would you need to get a full time income? Right. Not a lot. Okay, so these are real people. It puts me in front of uh, them every single day, um, and I get organic, not just from like the regular organic, but also the maps organic. I rank really well in the maps organic, um, and then also YouTube. I have had, and I think this is, I have had international clients, and I think it was more so earlier on when I was spending more time on YouTube. Um, uh, you could get clients with just YouTube. So I've had people from Australia, Canada, UK, uh, actually pay me money. And uh, YouTube is also, but most of what I use YouTube for is a conversion element. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, but these are these people that are coming to me um, and that could come to you if you had one of these are already convinced, number one, that SEO can help their business. Because you think about it. Think about the search intent. They're searching for like a Dallas SEO consultant. Okay, and there's all sorts of different ways to approach this. It doesn't have to be city SEO. There's all sorts of different ways. Uh, but this is a huge hurdle because a lot of people out there, let's say you're calling on a lawyer or a, a dentist or something and trying to trying to sell them SEO services, you have to first actually convince them that SEO can help their business. Okay, and this is not a small thing. This is a significant thing. Sometimes this is where the sale ends. And so this is one piece to making it more efficient. Another piece is going to be the conversion. And I've got this in two parts because I think that this is, this is one of the, the biggest places that, um, that, uh, that conversion happens. Okay, uh, This is one of the biggest reasons why th th to, to do this because it helps with conversion a lot. I mean, I think this is a big sticking for, point for a lot of people. I've have had other people, like just recently I had somebody come to me and say, tell me, how, you know, you know, what kind of conversion rate you're getting and ask me about this. And I get this question like once every month or two. Um, and they're getting more traffic than I am. He's getting five times more traffic than I am, uh, uh, roughly, um, uh, from organic, not just overall organic. And he's not making any money, okay? Yet I am, and I have been for many years. I've, this this Dallas SEO Geek, it's not just that it's made me a lot of money. It's that it makes me consistent money. It's something that I can fall back on and that for many, for six years, six years, so 2013, yeah, basically about six years, it has enabled me to, to have at least $10,000 of revenue plus in my business every single month. And I'd say this month, it's more like 30000 a month. So that's how much it's worth, you know, about, uh, like I said, 300000 So I guess it's a little bit less than $30,000 uh, per, per month because it's about $300,000 per year. And honestly, I'm not the best salesperson in the world. I could... It, and I've made a lot of mistakes, and I still st sometimes make some mistakes. So I, I bet someone else could maybe make it a lot better. But there's a few things that I'm doing that I believe that are really making a big difference here. And it's hard for me to explain all of those in this Facebook Live. I'm going to try to do the best I can um, with the limited time that I have. Um, I do have to pick up my kids, which is something that I get to do. You know, I, I enjoy picking up my kids from school. They're always happy to see Daddy um, after a day at school. So that's one of the choices. I get freedom to do that. Okay, so this is huge. And it actually, it starts uh, from the very beginning. It starts from, like, the whole branding decision and everything. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, but a, some people call me just because I was ranking. Actually, I had a, a company call me a couple weeks ago, and they were so, – I can't remember. I don't know how this other company found them, but they were sold on SEO by someone else. And they did a search, and that company wasn't ranking, and I was. And so they called me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so someone else did the hard work of convincing them that SEO can help their business, and then they decided to call me instead. All right, so this is this is good times. Um, so there's all sorts of different branded content I put on there. There's on the you know, and all this is important, and so you have to consider your customer, and you have to be. Here's a really big tip uh, that I th I think this is probably the most common place that people are breaking. You have to be congruent throughout. Okay, um, what does that mean? So that means that um, you you can't present yourself as a big company in the in one place and present yourself as like a single individual consultant in another. Okay, that's gonna complete. And if you're doing that, if you're giving your your market mixed messages, they're not gonna know what you are, and you're not gonna convert anybody. Some people think, oh well, I want to get the people who want big companies, and I want to get the people who get who want who are looking for a smaller consultant. No, you you, you have to pick one and shoot and 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 stick with them. I'm going to make myself bigger. I'm coming at you. Raw. Okay, that's too big. Okay. Too big. Too big. Too big. All right, let's 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 zoom out a little bit. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little better. Um and so you have to be congruent with your message. You have to be congruent with who you are throughout everything. And this is something that I considered right from the beginning. I truly am like a geek, like a computer geek. And so I thought this fit really well with me. Um, and also kind of the way I'm presenting myself is not as a big company, which a lot of people, they want like an individual uh, a, a person. They've had a bad experience with like a big company. I just got this you know call like this just the other day. Uh, they, they you know were tired of like the person that sold them uh, being someone different than the person that they talked to being different from the person who's actually doing the work. Uh, and well, there is some of that that's inevitable. It was, they were like, they're happy that I, I like actually pick up my phone. Um, you know, if it's an area code outside of De like the Dallas area, I won't pick it up. I do get a little bit of spam, but overall I don't. And some people, you know, they say, oh, you know, you definitely have to like send somebody to like a secretary. Uh, don't answer your own phone. It makes you seem bigger. Well, sort of, I, I feel like I've done a lot of that work by actually ranking. Right. So. Uh, now, I haven't heavily tested this, but it, I, what it's, it works for me, and a lot of people th are happy that I answer the phone. No, I actually have lost – I know that I lost at least one sale from someone who said um, that, hey, I uh, I didn't um, – you know, I, I was looking for a bigger company. Hi, John. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, okay. So um, I talked about this a little bit, like the brand and the personal framing. This is important. You can pick – whatever you pick, you got to be consistent throughout all of your messaging. All right, and, and there's a part two to this, uh, and and I think this is where a lot of people break it. It 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 makes it almost impossible for someone to contact you. All right. Um, also, I did mention like video. I think video is huge. I think video um, is the most engaging form of content. I'm hence I'm video. You can it, it, think about the level of com like connection that you would have with me if I was just writing an article saying everything I'm saying here versus this video where you can see my face, um, you can see my own interactions, you can see my awesome hat that was recommended, my Robin Hood hat, to make fun of my own name. Uh, but the, a lot of people, they find me through Dallas this week, they see my videos, and then they watch all of them, or a bunch of them. And I've had people say, I, watch, I watched all of your videos, or a lot of your videos, or something like that. And it really, it really helps uh, uh, make that connection. I think if I had no video on my website, um, I, I, I would be willing to bet my conversions would be substantially less. And I've been doing video since the beginning. Okay, so there's more. Let's see. Let me just check. Okay. Um, part two of the conversion. Oh, I, I, want, I want you to be to be able to see this this super raccoon. So let's make myself a little bit uh, smaller. See if I can move myself out of the way. All right, to-do list. Close opportunities, take over the world. That's about right. Um, okay, conversion part two. So you want people to uh, to be like this baby and be like, I want it now. <laughs> I thought this was really funny. Um, and you want to start, like, this needs to be not just the sale, but kind of the initial, like, contact. So... Um, this is by using a, a lot of calls to action for what I would call an irresistible offer. Now, I don't think this is necessarily an irresistible offer, but it's just, it's an offer. It's something to get them to go, oh, I want that. And you're not gonna be able to do that with everybody, but to do it with enough people to where they actually pick up the phone and call and call and contact you. 
So uh, that the CTA um, that I pretty much always have is call me for, or contact me for a free SEO analysis and recommendations, which is basically my sales video. And sometimes I'll say this is a thousand dollar value. And I, I haven't been as good about this in my like last couple of years of content, but starting off, I did that all over the place. I did that in my videos, um, all of the blog posts, everything ha- it ended with, or even midway through had a call to action. This is super important. Um, and then from there, so they call me, um, let's say they call me, let's say about 50% of people send me an email and 50% of people call me. Um, regardless, I try to have like, it's like a 15 to 60 minute discovery call where I ask them questions about the business. I build a connection and I give a little bit of value. And then I do a sales video where I show them all about their business. I show them what their current SEO company is doing wrong or, or maybe they're what their competitors are doing, um, what, how Google thinks of them kind of showing that I'm an expert. And then I also, and then I ask for money at the end near the end of the video. Um, and if they're genuinely interested, they pretty much get back to me pretty quickly for a closing call. And then we have an agreement and we get cash. This is sort of the, the whole flow and Dallas is your geek helps with all of this. Okay. So, um, the, the, the whole sales process is completely different when you're reaching out to someone. If I cold called someone, I'm not saying you can't, you could definitely make money with cold calling. If I cold called someone, the whole process is very different. Um, the amount of money that I can ask for is different. The, just the, the, the position is very different. Um, in, in, in this case, I'm the expert for sure. Right. They, they found me doing what they're trying to hire me to do. Um, so it just has a huge effect. Okay. This is huge for my business. And if you are able to get one of these ranking for you, uh, um, like a theta site, then it's huge. Okay. But it's not just ranking. It's also converting as I talked about a little bit earlier, which you can skip back to if you just joined us. Okay. Um, and don't forget to grab the free cheat sheet. Uh, okay. So probably what it helps the least with is kind of the service, but I, it definitely still helps with the service. All right. So by doing SEO on Dallas SEO Geek, I improved my SEO skills. It was my first like really, well, not, it was probably my second really big like SEO success story. The first one was kind of fluky and it didn't last. This one has lasted. Um, and um, it, it, it enables me to be able to be better at SEO because I get data from it. I've done some things wrong and I've done some things right. And, and knowing that and translating that to my clients is very helpful. Um, like I said, it's a great case study, but also it gives me a steady stream of clients to get more case studies. So it kind of circles back around and the fact that it generates clients for me enables me to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to get, to get my, to improve my SEO skills and to improve my ability to convert. So it's all working together. Again, it's all one thing. Let's put this back up here. Um, Dallas SEO Geek supports my SEO skill development. It supports my sales development for sure. Definitely those two to huge degrees. And it supports my uh, service development in a little bit more of a roundabout way. So this is a whole client SEO business uh, for me. Like all f- everything can be pretty much everything can be put other than like legal and like tax things and organization things, productivity things can be put into this, into this these four pieces. Um, and which I go into a little bit more detail in in the SEO client attraction cheat sheet at this link right here, D D triple D dot link slash S C a for SEO client attraction. All right. So does anybody have any questions other than, um, how this guy is going to live through his pants being on fire? Um, there is a little bit of delay, so, um, I will uh, try to answer them as best I can. Um, let's see. I mean, if, if nobody has any questions, I will um, dance around like a monkey for a few minutes uh, and see if uh, uh, see if anybody decides uh, that they want to ask away. If not, I will end it, and you can feel free to make a comment in this post or join the Operation Day Job Liberation uh, Facebook group and ask any questions in there. Or even private message me, and I'll genuinely try to answer those questions as well. Let's see. All right. Okay. Well, let's look at this uh, funny baby. Do you want it now? Everybody wants it now. Um, let's actually. I want to go back 
to conversion. Wait, no, this is traffic development. Uh, I want to point out that it's not just about getting the traffic. Lots of people are like, oh, I can get traffic. You have to actually be able to turn that into traffic. And I think the biggest mistake people are making is not being congruent with their branding. Um, and it's something you have to really think about from the beginning. From the the, the moment I, I bought the domain, uh, branding was a consideration. Not that I'm like a branding expert, but I think I kind of got a little bit lucky uh, with my branding. But at the same time, it fit. And that's why it's worked for so long, for years and years and years. Every year, it, it makes me money. Well, if I have, if nobody has any questions, if anybody has any questions, um, now is the chance um, to ask them, or you can ask the baby. Let's see if I can get the baby coming back. You can get the baby, or maybe these people. Great plan. Could I get more details? Would you like more details on the money, money, money? All right. Well. Uh, thank, thank you f to those people who are watching live, and thank you to those people who are not watching live, who are watching it on the replay. Um, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.